Dante's Boxing Nation. What's going on, guys? So a lot of people are still talking about how Frank Martin looked after the weigh-in with his eyes been extremely sunk in, him looking like something from The Walking Dead because he had to drain his body to make weight. I see some fans assuming that this means that Frank Martin is weak. He's been taken advantage of. Some fans are even blaming this on Javante Tank Davis, saying that he drained Frank. But fighters looking like this at the weigh-ins is extremely common. And it doesn't affect the fighter's performance because right after he weighs in, he gets to rehydrate to his natural weight. And remember, there is no rehydration clause for this fight. I mean, we've seen so many fighters look like this at a weigh-in. From Terrence Crawford to Javante Tank Davis to Devin Haney. This just shows you the hard work and dedication that professional boxers put in to prepare for a fight. Athletes, they train hard in almost every sport. But in football, basketball, baseball, and soccer, you don't have to make weight. And of course, the heavyweight division. With that all being said, I think we're going to see the best Frank Martin we've ever seen, but I don't think it's going to be enough to beat Javante. Frank Martin is a traditional southpaw that relies on the left hand. He's not like a southpaw that has a tremendous check right hook like a Manny Pacquiao, for example, and it took him years to develop that check hook. I mean, I never seen Frank Martin fight against another southpaw, but when he's fighting against conventional fighters, he sets everything up with his brick hand, as Javante will call it, his left. It's not until Frank lands the left or even gets close to landing the left, then he will unleash all of his other weapons. That's when you'll see combinations, hooks, uppercuts going to the body. But if he doesn't land the left, then you usually don't see those other weapons. Javante is a complete different southpaw because he doesn't have to rely on landing his left to land all of his other punches. But once again, this is a different situation because this is southpaw versus southpaw, which means one of these fighters is going to have to dominate with their jab the same way Crawford did against Errol Spence. We'll see who does it in this fight. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. I agree with that. Now, I know you bring out some of the biggest crowd artists in the game when you walk to the ring. Who's walking with you in the ring tomorrow night? Now, turn it in on me and tomorrow you see him. Can you give the fans a hint that say, what city is he from? <laughs> All right, we're going to go on the floor to that. But I also want to know, you've been out for two months. Have you been practicing that back clip? Yes. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.
Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.